what if the switch can lift off PoE too? So here we have our outdoor weatherproof PoE pass-through switch. Hi tech lovers, welcome back to Fast Cabling. So today we're solving power and data problem at outdoor entrances where there's no AC outlet. Cleanly, safely, and with just one cable. So our client is a smart retail chain. They want cameras, Wi-Fi access point, and digital signage near the door, but there's no outlets where they need them. And the previous in-store left cables everywhere. So we're going to tidy that up by leaning on power over ethernet. So just one cable carries both power and data to each device, and that means no local AC needed, and a much cleaner look at eye-level areas like the entrance. Power over Ethernet shines outdoors. You get easy wall, ceiling, or pole mounts, and you avoid having to bring an electrician to every device location. Saver, faster, cleaner, one cable per device. And the classic tidy-up move is adding a small switch close to your devices an edge switch near the entrance so you can home run short device drop. That slashes cable clutter because instead of three or four long cables sneaking back into the building, you run a single uplink to the switch, then short patch cord to each device. But here's the catch, we still don't have an AC outlet here to power our switch. And here's the unexpected twist, PoE isn't just for cameras or SS point. What if the switch can lift off PoE too? So here we have our outdoor weatherproof PoE pass-through switch. It's built for outside. IP67 weatherproof enclosure and metal housing, a wide working temperature range for tough environments, and it's plug and play, wall or pole mountable, and it accepts power using power over Ethernet on its uplink and then passes that power out to your devices. And this switch has total power budget up to 95 watts and 30 watts per port, one uplink cable in, multiple PoE ports out, gigabit throughput, and that's how we reduce cable mess. Now let me show you a quick port tour so you won't get messed up. Here we have 8 port, but keep in mind only port 7 is the PoE in uplink port, which is the only port that accepts incoming PoE from upstream. The rest of the port deliver PoE out to your devices. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in 3 Ethernet cable representing our 3 devices. Today we are connecting to an access point, PDZ camera, and a bullet camera. And next, we'll feed our outdoor switch from inside the building using a PoE++ injector. Now think of the injector as your centralized power tap. It sits where power is easy, like your back office. And from there, one outdoor rated Ethernet run goes to the entrance, powers the PoE pass-through switch, and the switch powers everything else. No AC needed. Let's do it. Here at the control room, we have our main switch connecting to a router to get data and also an NVR so we can display video footage. Then I'm going to use an Ethernet cable connecting from the switch to our injector here. Now our injector is 90 to 95 watts 802 BT mid-span. This is the data input port. Make sure you plug it to the input data port. Then we can power it up, just like this. It adds power onto a gigabit Ethernet line that has straight to our outdoor switch input port. And it's designed for high power device, and it's plug and play. Now we can mount it on a DIN reel by using this special mounting tool. Just put it on this bracket. And now we can mount it on a DIN reel easily. And I'm going to get a 100 meters Ethernet cable. So we can plug it into the output port. Here we go. 
just one cable from the network room to the entrance and that's our lifeline we already mounted the pass-through switch on the wall now all we need to do is land this cable into the uplink port remember port 7 just plug it in and soon you can see the integrated lights are on and now all the connecting devices are getting the power and the data they need one more thing we all know ethernet and poe officially run about 100 meters per segment and this is where the pass-through switch does another trick adding like a powered relay lot and it can effectively double the reach to about 200 meters for both power and gigabit data so it's perfect for those long entrance approach we can use 100 meters ethernet cable from the control room to our pass-through switch and then an other 100 meters from the switch to your end devices how cool is that now let's check out our cameras here we are getting the live video feed short need drops and every drop is power and data on the same line zero ac outlet and now you might wonder how much gear can we hang off one poe power switch so our injector can deliver up to 95 watts using 802.3 bt standard and this pass-through switch has a total poe budget up to 95 watts and with up to 30 watts per port and in practice you can spread your loads and keep some hab rooms let's say our pdz cameras draw 30 watts and the access point draws 15 watts and that's about 45 watts so you can add a small signage controller at 12 watts and we're at 57 watts and we still have margin for one more low draw device or you can just leave that headroom for cold starts and peaks so when you plan you can budget conservatively and try to keep about 15 percent in reserve and a few more tips from the field you can use pure copper ethernet like cat5e or cat6 it matters for voltage drop and reliability and because this is outdoor so you should pick outdoor rated gear weatherproof ip67 for the switch enclosure shielded connectors who are appropriate and don't skip grounding and surge protection where code requires so from spaghetti to streamlined it, we eliminated local AC outlets, kept everything gigabit, extended reach where needed, and made maintenance simpler. Now if you can get one cable here, you can power the whole entrance. That's the PUE power switch trick. Now feel free to tell me what you are powering next in the comment section below and we'll help you budget the watts. Thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.